Good morning, dear hearts. Ah, lesson 197. It can be but my gratitude I earn. So the, this lesson starts at, then it says, here's the second step. And you go, what? What was the first step? The first step was yesterday's lesson. It can be but myself I crucify. And today, it can be but my gratitude that I earn. Um, the first step, of course, to, to realize that whenever I think I'm hurting a brother, I'm only really hurting myself. And uh, my cruelty to others is only my cruelty to myself. And today we learn with, it can be but my gratitude that I earn, learn and earn, um, that any expression, any extension of love is enough. And God is grateful for every time that we do that, that every time we extend gratitude and love and kindness and mercy, it heartens the heart of God. Um, and God acknowledges and is aware of the kindnesses that we give. But this lesson goes on to say that, of course, in this world, because we're still dealing with an ego mind, that in this world, if I offer a kindness or, or gratitude or mercy or love or a gift for that matter, because, you know, I like to use a physical thing because that might make more sense. If I offer someone a gift and they don't seem um, grateful enough or loving enough or that they really love the gift that I gave them, then in my mind, even if I don't actually take it back, I'm taking back the thought that first had me buy and give the gift because I'm feeling that I was not properly thanked. This lesson tells us that when we do those things, and we do do those things in this world, the ego um, gets in there because it is the voice that is loudest in our mind. When we do those kinds of things, it says, it is this you would, uh, is, is, is it this really that you would undo by taking back your gifts because they were not honored? If you, it is you who honor them and give them fitting thanks for it is you who have received the gifts. We go all the way back because we're going to keep saying it that to give and to receive are one in truth. And this is what we need to realize. But the one who truly is universally thankful and acknowledges the gifts are God, is God. God is thankful. It says, in your gratitude, they are accepted universally and thankfully acknowledged by the heart of God. It is that pebble in the pond that I'm always speaking of, that when we throw a pebble or into a pond and the ripples, the rings go out, we don't know where they're going to go. But this lesson, as so many of the other lessons in this course, tell us that it's not necessary for us to know how fully they will go, how many people they might reach. The fact is that every single kindness, every single loving thought all that is offered helps to release this world from all of the illusions that have been placed upon it. And the uh, paragraph five, and this is wonderful, it says, and what belongs to God must be his own. Yet you will never realize his gifts are sure, eternal, changeless, limitless, forever giving out, extending love, and adding to your never-ending joy while you forgive but to attack again. So every time I would go into that place of forgiveness and mercy and kindness, only to loop back and to attack my brother, and again, who, whenever I think I'm attacking a brother, I'm attacking myself, it can be but myself, I crucify. I am limiting the possibilities of my awakening and how quickly, not only mine, but everyone's will happen. Um, it says, but 
Learn to let forgiveness take away the sins you think you see outside yourself, and you can never think the gifts of God are lent but for a little while before he snatches them away again in death, because death will have no meaning. Death is the one fear that when we heal that fear of death, because we believe in this world that that is the end, that's how it's been presented to us, when we release the fear of death, every other fear that we have will be overcome, including the fear of God, which is one of the largest obstacles to our peace. So this lesson com continues and ends with, thanks be to you, the Holy Son of God, for as you were created, you contain all things within yourself and you are still as God created you. Remember that we are completing this section. We will go into the review, the last review before we get to the second section of the workbook. And this is the one thought that we need to bring home forever, that we are as God created us. Know that and embrace that. And we will be free of every fear that ever may have crossed our mind. So that's it for today. I hope this helped. Um, I hope you are understanding this. I am grateful for you on this journey with me. Uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please send it to others to subscribe. Recommend it to others. Like, share, comment. Namaste.